Hello everyone, we are not on the farm in this video. I had to travel to India for work. So I filmed a little bit of it, took a lot of photos, and figured it might be interesting for somebody that would have to travel, uh, I guess at least internationally. Uh, in this case I flew business class just because uh, our company has a policy, anything over eight hours you're permitted to fly business class. I had uh, basically an eight hour flight leg to London in the United Kingdom and then nine and a half hours from London to Mumbai, India. This portion of the video here I am in the, the like business lounge for the uh, I flew British Airways. Here's when I landed in India. This is the Mumbai airport. There's the old double-decker plane there. This is the, I guess it'd be the inbound side of the airport. Um, looks fairly nice. The you know inbound side is not as nice as the outbound. The outbound is very nice. But uh, this is after we got out of the airport. We're walking with our driver to the vehicle. He's pulling that suitcase there. This is the parking garage. Uh, tons of motorcycles. That's their most. I would say their most popular means of transportation. Very small vehicles and lots of motorcycles. This is leaving the airport. Uh, they said that the driver said this traffic was light, uh, which is crazy because it was a lot of traffic and a lot of vehicles. There's really no, I'm sure they have you know some sort of system that they've agreed upon between the people but there doesn't really seem to be any sort of uh, I guess rules to the traffic there's no lines there's no lights it's kinda you're free to go anywhere on the road that you want make any turns that you want you can go the wrong way and uh, people just kind of play chicken and go around each other it's, it's pretty wild but, uh, this is driving out of Mumbai heading towards Nashik uh, we stayed in, our hotel was in a town called Nashik. This is uh, a little bit further away from the airport, getting closer to Nashik. There's some pretty neat mountains. This is a semi-truck. I, I would guess it's their equivalent to a semi-truck. This is a view out of my hotel room. Just looking down on the street and some of the, I guess it would be housing. I don't know exactly what these buildings were. You can see all the smog in the air. This isn't even one of their bigger cities. The, the Mumbai was had more smog there. This is out in the country. We, we spent uh, our days at a plant about an hour and a half uh, from Nashik, and it was in some farmland. And uh, pretty interesting, this iron worker crew here is building an addition on the factory. And the work, as you can see, the workers aren't uh, wearing much PPE, but uh, pretty wild to see. Here's a view of the countryside near Nashik. They did have livestock. They keep, kept sheep and goats, mostly I would say. They did have a lot of cattle, but they don't eat them. It's a sacred animal there. Most of their food they eat vegan and chicken. You can see a lot of, there's a lot of garbage on the side of the roads. Actually, they're doing other, they told us that uh, their new road construction utilizes garbage as like fill material so we did see some roads that where they excavated down probably I don't know six eight feet and it was all at the excavation was all through garbage it's kind of wild to see here's some evening traffic this was about 9 p.m. Um, coming back into Nashik to, to our hotel and as you can see it doesn't really ever ever stop that they pretty much work all day um, most shops and stores and suppliers are open real late, like I think nine, ten o'clock. Um, and then after that, they all go, you know, back into the towns or home or I, I guess I don't know where they go, but there's traffic at all times. And then first thing in the morning, back at it, same thing. So it kind of really never sleeps. It's a very busy place. Lots of people. This is some of the farmland. You can see that motorcycle carrying a big box. 
This is the farmland heading towards Nashik from, or sorry, heading towards the plant from Nashik, and so then you know gets that out into the countryside. So pretty rural area. They f they farm a lot of grapes, I guess, and onions. It's like their two main crops, at least in that area. Tons of grapes and tons of onions. This must have been like a wedding or an event. They had like food trucks, a band. This is a view from the rooftop of our hotel. It's pretty nice. There's a swimming pool there and that where those blue lights are. This is a view from the plant. Uh, this day I was missing home quite a bit because I was looking, I was watching this neighbor plow his fields. It made me think of home. This is where we drove through like a mall area. It was, it was nice. Uh, one of the nicer areas that we had drove through. They, their malls like slash shopping areas are very popular. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the United States years ago. Um, how our malls used to be so popular. I'll be showing you here in a second a uh, video of, of inside of the mall. It's a pretty nice place. You can just see the crazy traffic, tons of motorcycles. Here's inside the mall. It's four levels. This is on Saturday. We were heading to the plant and they had like a farm market on the side of the road. It reminded me of kind of home. They don't really have grocery stores there, so most of the people seem to procure all their all their food really from farmers, it looked like. Um, well, there are processed food in, in stores that I noticed, but it seems like a lot of it is, you know, from local farmers, which is pretty cool. A lot of the meals that we ate at the factory were home cooked by the fact factory's wife, and uh, they were all, all the meals with, with, was with local food, and it was very good. They use a ton of spices, and when they when they say spice, they don't necessarily mean hot. It's just well seasoned, like a lot of different seasonings in the food. And it, first, it tastes like it's going to be really salty, but it's it's just like the quantity of seasonings in it. There's a a, a standard McDonald's. They still use Ronald, and uh, that in there the menu is so different. It's uh, all vegan and chicken. And even the sauces are like very Indian flavored sauces. It's not at all like a McDonald's here in the States. Here's some of their highway construction. There is zero rhyme or reason that I could tell to this construction. And it was a free for all. You could go on unpaved areas. You could weave in and out of barriers and cones. And there were motorcycles driving in the dirt. There was a dog sleeping in the middle of the highway. It was pretty interesting to watch. Uh, it's pretty much a free-for-all, it seems like, as far as traffic. These are some of the buildings. You can see some of the smog in the air here a little bit. It's not as bad in like the as in some of the bigger cities, but uh, trying to look at that mountain out there, you can really notice the smog. <clears throat> you could kind of smell it, but you got used to it pretty quick, like your old factory. This is the courtyard at our hotel that was in Mumbai. This was the night before we flew back. That is the pool at the hotel in Mumbai. This is at the um, Hilton. And here's leaving the India airport. That is like the flight center, which is kind of wild looking. Uh, there's a guy outside. You can see, I barely see him there. He was outside dumping some water. But uh, not a whole lot of people operating that. It's kind of different from what you normally would see. Here is, I'm guessing, a big pile of garbage it's on the side of the airport. And then right before we took off, I was looking out the window and I noticed a, an airplane landing and then a ton of birds. Look at all those birds. And there's the airplane coming in. I was made me nervous for taking off because I've always heard that airports don't have birds because you don't want to take one into the engine. 
So that made me a little bit nervous. And that was right before we took off and I lost phone service within, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute after that. And there was no Wi-Fi on these flights. And they were, you know, eight, nine and a half hour flights. So it was uh, pretty much just movies on the airplane TVs and sleep if you could. And that was about it. Look at all the smog in the air as you fly away. <clears throat> I don't know why the ocean was real stained here. I don't know if it was due to weather or the season or what, but uh, you can see the water's real brown. Lots of like algae or, I don't know if it's, I don't know if that's algae or if that's like, I don't know, some sort of weeds, but a lot of boats, like small boats fishing near those weeds. And then this is up at altitude. It's a pretty cool view. You can almost kind of see the curvature of, of the earth. This, these, this is a big plane. Uh, I can, I'll look up the plane size and put it in here as a text, but uh, we, I think we we're up several thousand feet. This was over Romania. It was really pretty. A lot of lush farmland and some snow-capped mountains. It was a nice view. The clouds bro were broken up enough, and the plane wasn't very high at this point for some reason, and I could see it really well. This is uh, over top of the United Kingdom. They have a windmill farm out in the ocean, which is pretty neat. Good utilization of space, I guess. Now that's going to end this video because I didn't take any more clips. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if uh, you have any questions on travel to India, uh, feel free to reach out. I would offer any advice that I have for my limited experience. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And thanks again.